Hello everybody, this is 101 Face here with an update video. I haven't done one of these in a while. First of all, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the people who watched season 11. You guys are awesome for sticking with this series for so long, and to this day I'm still amazed by that fact. I have a lot of things I want to discuss in this video. I have updates on season 12, technical issues that need help with, and even a new project. It's not a movie, so don't go there. I've timestamped everything in the description, so feel free to skip whatever you don't give a shit about. But, you know, it would be nice if you watched the whole thing. Just saying. Let's start with Season 12. My plan is to go straight into production now that Season 11 is done. No bullshit, no hiatus, let's just do it. If Season 12 is all you really care about, then you can stop watching this video right now. That said, the next part might be relevant too. You see, the only things that are standing in the way of me going straight into Season 12 are a couple of technical issues. One of them is completely new, and the other one is something I should have resolved a long time ago. Either way, I need some help. So you may remember a couple of months ago, I told you guys that I was putting together a new PC, and there it is, right there on the right next to my old Reliable, who's not quite as reliable as she used to be, but whatever. This baby is going to carry the torch from now on, until the foreseeable future, because quite frankly at this point, if I'm still having performance issues in the game that came out nearly 10 years ago, it's not the hardware anymore, something else is going on. So while Season 11 was being uploaded, I had to reinstall Far New Vegas and all of my mods on this new machine. But if you've been watching Roscoss's Game Dungeon, you would know that sometimes an old game can seemingly behave differently on a new system for no apparent reason. Or in my case, it's not really the game that's misbehaving, it's the mods I'm using. I'm not completely surprised though, because I haven't really updated any of my mods on my old PC since around Season 9. And for all I know, this could be a compatibility issue with a Windows update, or even a hardware compatibility issue. The rabbit hole doesn't end. It just doesn't end. I'm going to repost my PC specs in the description of this video. Also, I'm providing a link to my mod list and load order in the description as well. Simply put, I've mostly been following the modding Fallout New Vegas series by the YouTuber Gopher, who's pretty well known for his modding tutorials. Specifically, I've been following his 2020 version, and I haven't really been deviating that far. I think I might have omitted a couple of mods that I didn't really care about, and they're mostly either cosmetic things or they alter the gameplay far too much for my tastes. But anyway, about those technical issues. So here I am in-game, in the morning, during a bright sunny day, and look at how bright the skins are for the characters. Holy shit, they look like they're glowing. Now, this is something to do with the sunlight because I don't have this problem indoors, as you can see right here. My best guess is that this has something to do with Nevada skies. If I deliberately trigger a cloudy or overcast day, then we don't have this problem. And if I turn the mod off, the problem goes away as well. Now, I've tried messing around with these two settings, brightness and contrast, and I'm getting mixed results. Both of these are set to 1 by default. Here's what they look like with different combinations applied. I can turn down the brightness, but it takes away the warmness of the daylight, so that's not ideal. Contrast is making the lighting really weird as well. It helps a little bit. It helps a little bit with the skin brightness, but everything else suffers as a result. And as I was about to record this line, I made another discovery. If I turn off HDR in the game settings, then the problem goes away as well, even with Nevada Skies still active. But as you can see, the lack of HDR really hurts the lighting in the game. I think we're getting close to narrowing down the culprit. Nevada Skies is taking the HDR effects and going way too overboard. I'm not sure if this is something that I can easily adjust. Is this a common problem with Nevada Skies that I didn't know about? I haven't noticed this before on the old PC. Do you guys know of a solution to this problem? Should I just use a different weather mod? If so, which one? Let me know in the comments and I'll try it. So this other problem has been happening for a while now. Basically, as I'm walking in the open world, you'll notice a lot of environmental textures taking a long time to load and pop in. I know this is something that Bethesda games of this generation was infamous for, but what's bothering me is how close you can get to those textures and they're still not loading in. Now, 
on the old PC, when they do eventually load, they'll actually cause a noticeable stutter. And I've been trying to get around this through editing and deliberately stopping my movement whenever I notice this problem, so I could give it some time to load the textures in properly. This issue became more noticeable in Season 11, because I was going through a lot of new places for the first time. So, I'm walking there instead of fast traveling. If the majority of an episode takes place in the same general area, like a town or a bunch of interior cells, which is true for 90% of the episodes, then it's barely noticeable. Have a look at Season 11 Episode 10 and see how many times I stop moving for no apparent reason. That's me trying to avoid triggering a stutter. Now on the new PC, the stutter doesn't happen anymore, which is a big plus, but the slow texture load is still really noticeable. I thought it would improve if I installed the game on an SSD instead of a traditional hard drive like it was on the old PC, but that hasn't helped. So once again, how many of you have come across this problem before, and do you know of a way to solve it? Viewer, uh, uh, uh oh. Konstantin Komenko. Konstantin Komenko. Konstantin. Okay, viewer Konstantin told me it's an LOD issue. But as you can see right here, all of them are set to max. In fact, all of my graphical settings have been set to max on this machine right from the get go. So I'm not sure what to make of any of this. Again, Please look at my mod list before making suggestions. I already followed all of Gopher's guide when it comes to performance enhancement mods, including the really obvious ones like the 4GB memory enabler and so on. That was there in the old PC too. Maybe I should try a different texture mod? I've been using Poco Bueno since Season 5, and I would rather not suddenly switch to a different one. I want to maintain consistency. Also, I get the impression that Poco Bueno is already fairly light on the system, there's a more intense version called Ojo Bueno, or uh, Ojo Bueno, I guess? I don't speak Spanish if you couldn't tell. That's the full fat version, so obviously I've been avoiding that. But anyways, those were the two major issues holding back Season 12 right now. In theory, I could just ignore them and keep going, but I work in software QA, so I have high standards when it comes to technical shit like this. I could justify them happening on an inferior machine, but now? No. I refuse. In the meantime, I'll be doing my usual planning activities for Season 12, so there's still time before this starts to mess up my schedule. I look forward to seeing your responses. Now, a quick update on the frame rate poll I put up last week. You see, the old PC struggled to maintain 60fps in outdoor settings, so this was never really an option for me. But the new PC can do it no problem. There is an argument to be made about how cinematic the video is at lower frame rates, like the Hobbit movies. But I see that as a personal preference thing. It only feels more cinematic because we've been trained to associate a lower frame rate with cinema. However, viewer Guile832 reminded me that some people actually feel nauseous when they watch first person gameplay footage at higher frame rates. I've heard about this before. It's like how a lot of people can suffer from motion sickness in a car, but those same people wouldn't have that problem if they were the ones who were driving. The ability to anticipate motion ahead of time makes a lot of difference. So at first I thought this was going to be the end of the debate. I'd rather keep everything at 30 FPS to maintain accessibility. But then I realized, hang on a minute, why do I have to choose between the two? Why not have both? Yep, from now on, every episode will be uploaded in 60 FPS, but I will also link to an unlisted version of the episode that's been rendered at 30 FPS. So, if you're one of those viewers who suffer from nausea watching 60 FPS gameplay, then worry no more. And now onto the other project I'm working on. You might have noticed that in between my seasons, I often disappear for months before suddenly coming back to upload a new trailer. This is not something I'm proud of. It's a relic from back when I was still at university. Basically, I would make 10 episodes during the holidays and then upload them during term time. This way, I wouldn't be tempted to make more content when I should be concentrating on my studies. But, ever since I graduated, those gaps between seasons have been getting longer and longer because of work, life, and, well, more studying. 
I'll try my best to limit that from now on, but who knows what could happen down the line. I still prefer to maintain the seasonal format because I've never liked the drip feeding approach to YouTube series. If I give you guys something, I'd rather be a good chunk of content for you to really sink your teeth into. But that doesn't mean my channel has to stay dead in the meantime. That's why starting from next Wednesday, yes, Wednesday, I'm going to start a new series called Hero Killer. If you've been around my channel since 2015, you might remember I tried to do a series called Total Failure, where I play a game and count how many times I die. That was supposed to be a filler series in between seasons for Curious Mind. The reason I didn't carry on with that concept was because at the time I was spending too much time editing each episode, which kind of defeated the whole purpose of having a simple video series I can use to keep the channel active. But recently I've discovered a way for me to count the deaths while I'm recording the footage using an OBS plugin. This drastically cut down the amount of effort it takes me to make this kind of content. So yeah, while I'm away making Curious Mind, you get to watch me fail miserably at playing difficult games. And don't worry, it's not going to take any time away from Curious Mind. The plan is for me to make this stuff while I'm uploading a new season. In fact, I've already completed my first two games while season 11 was being uploaded. I've got shit prepared in advance this time. And who knows, if you guys like it, maybe this will turn into something more than just a filler series in the years to come. So that was a very long update video. I'm sorry. Hopefully a solution to those two problems will come sooner rather than later. But in the meantime, I'm 101 Face and hopefully the courier will get to see you all again real soon. Bye.